In this demo, we're going to look at the Data Protector Reporting Server. Here, you can see the Administrative Console. The new reporting server has been introduced into the Data Protector dashboard. Here you will find an overview of clients, capacity licenses, devices, and telemetry information. You'll also find different schedules executing and this new item down here called Reports. The reporting server is imported into the Data Protected dashboard. The actual activity is done on a separate machine, usually a virtual machine, that is doing the number crunching. After you have imported the reporting server into the Data Protector web GUI, you'll see an overview of individual reports and a simple description of what they're doing. If we take one of those reports, you can see it provides a clear and simple overview of what's going on. In the upper half of the screen, you can select timeframes and units. That depends on which report you're looking at. You can make a report a favorite so this summary report would show up in the dashboard view that we saw at the beginning of the video. And on the right-hand side, you can switch between a graphical view and a Tableau view. In more reports, the Tableau view provides you with a lot more details. Here you can see a couple of those reports. They can give you past history information or provide predictive information looking into the future. This kind of information can be used to design backup devices and for optimizing performance and infrastructure needs. Here there is a section called Session in Timeframe, where you have certain information about client statistics, device utilization, session status, and so on. All of the information items can be seen in a graphical view and a Tableau view. As mentioned, if you look at this report, it provides you with more detailed information in Tableau view. But of course, that depends on your needs. If you want to have a clean and easy overview, you may want to go for a graphical view. You may want to export that to standard desktop format, or you may want to share it by email to your compliance officer or chief technology officers, for example. Operators will want to look more at pools and media consumption, so you have a full list of media and some media statistics going on here. This is less important if you have virtual tape libraries running, but sometimes media or information is exported to external tape or maybe even into the cloud. Of course, you will want to know where your data is and manage it. You also want to be able to restore from exported media. Data Protector contains compliance reports as well, such as for Recovery Point Objective and Recovery Time Objective. All the backups done are then measured against your settings and all the individual backup specifications will report in this view. On the right-hand side, it actually provides you information as to whether the status has been met or not. If it wasn't, you may want to look into certain backups to find out why. Is it too slow or were there other issues? In advanced reports, you have reports that show most unreliable clients or devices. The kind of important information that an administrator could take away in the morning and address throughout the day. There is the usual configuration information. And a nice feature here is that you can sync now. If you want to have up-to-the-minute reports, you sync now before creating the reports, giving you almost real-time data. And you can, of course, define the retention policy for reports and data retention. The typical sync frequency in between a cell manager and the reporting server is 30 minutes, so that's the minimum. You can increase it from here. You also have data about the standard outgoing emails, if there are error messages coming up, etc. The system will use a standard email address, and if you want to send out a report, you can of course always enter a different email address to send to. You can change the email port, and you can also export and import configuration information. It is important to make sure that your report information is saved so you can restore it if needed. In RPO and RTO configuration, you can set those RPO and RTO values that I've shown you before. This can be done for all aspects of the backup or individually where you can set RPO and RTO in hours or minutes. This is the baseline for those compliance reports that you've seen earlier. That concludes the demo for the Data Protector reporting server. If you'd like to try out these reports in your local IT environment, you can download a 90-day full product trial from the website at microfocus.com slash dataprotector.